Hello everyone! Are you ready to start your online career as a live streamer? If yes, then let me help you. My name is Lisa, also known as Androx Kamori on my live stream, and I will teach you 5 things you will need to start live streaming. Number one that you will need is a decent PC that can handle 720 to 1080p streams without lag. Because if you have any um, PC that can't handle it, you won't be able to produce really good streams online and it will be frustrating for all your viewers to watch. One thing also, make sure that your computer has enough memory for it for the recording it's always wise to record your live streams so you can edit it later get some clips and you can post them to all your social medias second thing that you will need is a usb microphone it's always better to use a separate microphone than the built-in microphones in your PC. Based on my experience, those microphones, those built-in microphones interferes with your live streaming sounds and usually have bad microphone feedbacks. If you use a separate USB microphone, they are very customizable and they have way better sound quality. If you are a viewer, you would prefer a video with better sound quality than a better video quality, isn't it? As long as you can hear it clearly, you would like it. But if there is a sound feedbacks and really bad noise around, I don't think you will stay and watch that video, am I right? Third one is a web camera. Some streamers are not comfortable showing themselves to their viewers during their live stream. So it's not really a big deal if you don't have a web camera yet. But if you want a better interaction and engagement with your viewers, it's always wise to turn on or open your webcam. Most viewers find it much more enjoyable to watch a live stream if they can see the streamer's real-time reaction on whatever they're doing on their stream. Even if it's they're playing games or just simply chatting with the audience. You don't need to buy an expensive web camera as long as it can take a 720 to 1080 video quality, it's nice. You don't want your viewers to be squinting just to see what you really look like. And yeah, it's better for your viewers to see if they're really talking to a real person or just an AI. Fourth one is a ring light or any adjustable, customizable LED lighting equipment. One of the reasons why I told you that you don't need a very expensive, high-quality camera is because if you have a nice lighting on your live stream, your video quality will look a lot much better even without an expensive DSLR or any high-quality camera. Last but not the least is a streaming or broadcasting softwares like OBS, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, and many more. You just have to find the right one that works for your style of streaming. These softwares will help you personalize your live stream with cute overlays, notifications, customize your sound, and your video quality. If you want to learn more about how to set up everything that i mentioned today please watch my next video and i will give you an in-depth tutorial on how to set up from camera microphone lighting and personalizing your broadcasting softwares that's it for today don't forget to subscribe and like my channel i'll see you all on my next video bye bye